Hey there, Libra. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message. So take what fits your situation and leave what does not. If none of this hits home, just try a different message. Any information about booking a personal reading, becoming a channel member, merch, Amazon wish list, donations, all that and more is in the description box below. But let's get started and see what's coming through for Libra. Please and thank you, Spirit. Healing. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. And soulmate. Your soulmate, soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. What else do we have for Libra? Let's get a little bit of a dialogue going here. What do we have for Libra? Please and thank you. It could be that you need some healing. Your soulmate needs some, maybe both of you. Soulmates help us work through things and they're there for us. Karmics. They also show us things we need to heal, but they're kind of a dick about it. <laughs> like, And they leave you to pick up the pieces yourself. They are not any kind of support system. So um, let's see where this is going, though. Soulmates do not have to be romantic, by the way. I moved away so no one could find me. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have I'm feeling insecure here. So, wow, and I'm confronting my past. That definitely needs to come out here. I need a drink ASAP. Pour your favorite drink. Somebody might drink every now and then. Um, I don't think it's, like, necessarily a problem. I do think that somebody... Um, enjoys a couple glasses here and there but anyways this person's feeling a little insecure maybe they drink a little bit to kind of numb the hurt that happened um, but they're done with that they're confronting it okay somebody is looking for a little more security in self and that comes in addressing your foundation. And if somebody has a weak foundation or a past that's really bothering them, which is the same thing, that's why somebody is taking some time away to deal with that. Taking time out of their busy life, their busy schedule, to just kind of deal with what it is they need to. Something recently could have brought this up. It could have even been out of the blue that this person was like, I need to sit down and deal with this. Um... And then I'm also getting the, I moved away so no one could find me. This is healing that someone has pushed down for a long time. They tried to run from it, possibly through the alcohol or other means, right? Other means of self-medication. But um, they, they're realizing that in running away from this, they're still feeling insecure. They're still feeling hurt. They're still feeling like eventually I am going to have to address this. And since it's surfacing in whatever way that it is, I'm going to go ahead and confront it. I'm going to go ahead and handle this. So if I need to take some time to deal with this, um, I, I'm definitely seeing there's somebody here that respects you and they're letting you know if you need anything, even just somebody to sit in the room with you, someone to eat with, drink with, smoke with, whatever, I'm here for you. If you do want to talk about it, I'm here for that too. Or if you just need to, you know, take a break for a minute, phone me up, you know? Um, so I really like that you've got somebody in the physical form that's here for you in this one. If not, maybe somebody's coming in or this might not be your reading. This could even be somebody on the other side, but it definitely feels physical, so... Take what sticks, leave what doesn't, especially with earth sign here. Yeah, definitely feels physical. So we actually had, um, I, I didn't show you, we had the devil card at the split and the second split is the four of swords. So this is healing whatever hurt and toxicity came from the past. Yeah, finally walking away from it, but walking away in peace. Do you see how this bear has a smile? 
Can you see that? Walking away in peace. Something's no longer bothering you or will no longer be bothering you. For others of you, it could be somebody else that's going through this and you're the friend here. Okay, switch the roles if you have to. We have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, somebody cannot stop thinking about this. It's surfacing again. Um, every rose has its thorn. Could be an important song to you or just um, phrase. Something about roses are red, violets are blue. I'm not sure where you're going with that. You have the Ace of Swords. This is the breakthrough. This is the breakthrough. Something is coming up in conversation or just random thought. And it's like, you can't run from this. The Heart of Wands. Some of you guys are taking this as like a personal mission, which it is, so you're not wrong to. Um, but by personal mission, I mean like you are doing what you need to. Even if this means you're going to be really busy because all of your free time is going to be dedicated to, to coping with this, dealing with this. For some of you, you might be seeking therapy here. Um, but you're doing what it is you need to do. You are taking some real action here. Look at that. And the High Priestess. That's the most intuitive card in the deck. So for those of you guys that are clearing your mind space here, I'm also hearing clearing your catch or clearing your home. Anyways, um, not only is this clearing things up for your mind, but it's also clearing up your intuition. I feel like for some of you guys, this is actually going to be an ascension process but it's not necessarily one that you're too used to. I do feel like you've done this before, but it's just not something you do too often, at least not with this particular process. I hope this is translating. Let's see, what else do we have here? Please and thank you for, this is Libra, interesting. Nine of Cups, there's the happiness, there it is. And the sage. Some of you are recognizing more and more about your purpose here. I think you're also recognizing that as you work on yourself, as you heal yourself, you're watching incredible situations around you taking place almost as a ripple effect of what you're doing and how it truly affects everything and everyone around you. That's why this is definitely a part of your mission. Some of you guys are so connected. Um, earth, animals, you'll even notice that your pets are more relaxed. Spirit or King of Swords. Yeah, there's a lot of knowledge here. There's a lot of clarity here. I'm also getting the sense of, I get it now. Something is making more sense in the universe. Definitely ascension energy here. Be mindful who you share that energy with. Whatever it is that's upsetting you here, you can absolutely work through it. I do feel like you have help in both ends, in the ethers and in the physical. And I think you know exactly how to close this door. If not, you know who to ask for the right advice. And they are definitely coming through for you here. So we have Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Aries, Pisces, Taurus, Aquarius, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, and Scorpio on the board. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Until then, stay beautiful.